let's talk about monoclonal antibody. Uh, there have been many videos in YouTube about this, but uh, let's make it a very small and very gist view of monoclonal antibodies. You know, uh, monoclonal antibodies, it's uh, the short form of this antibody. So, let me actually take a color for, for the understanding. So, let's take this green here. Okay. So, monoclonal antibody, the short form of it is sometimes small m capital AB or sometimes small m o capital A small b. So, these are the short forms of monoclonal antibody. Monoclonal antibodies are monospecific antibodies that are made by identical immune cells. So, monospecific means, mono means one, single, right. So, monospecific one means they are specifically targeted to a particular clone of cells. They are specifically targeted to a particular antigen or a particular epitope. That's what is depicted here. Let's say these are the different antigens. You can see six different antigens are there. And this is a, a monospecific or monoclonal antibody. So, this antibody will bind only one type of antigen here specifically and that is the green one in this case. It will not bind with any other type of epitopes here. It will only bind with the single one. That is why they are termed as monoclonal antibodies. There are certain other types of antibodies are called polyclonal antibodies that are generated from different immune system cells, different cells, not the same cell. That's why they are varying in the epitope. So, they will bind with different epitopes, not the same one. That's why they are called polyclonal or poly means many 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 clonal antibodies, many specific antibodies there. Okay, so now let's talk about how this antibody is actually prepared. I'm taking this image from Wikipedia, so that actual copyright is from Wikipedia. So let's say this is the mouse which is challenged with the antigen. For example, we want to develop the monoclonal antibody against a particular antigen and we inject that mouse with that particular antigen. It could be any substance. Actually, literally, we can produce monoclonal antibody uh, against any substrate we want to if we inject it into the mouse. If we inject it into the mouse and then we take the spleen cell from the mouse, all the other different types of spleen cells that we can take. As you can see, different coloration is depicting different types of immune cells there. So, spleen cells are there, right? And after that, what we do here, we fuse the spleen cells with myeloma cells, right? So, let's say these are the myeloma cells, myeloma cells, let us draw the overall cells, right. so these are the myeloma cells and we add these myeloma cells with the spleen cell to be fused and let us say they are fused and they start generating antibodies because they turn into you know large antibody producing factories, the B cells, they start producing antibodies. Now, as they are different types of immune cells, they produce different types of antibodies. Let us say the antibody produced from this cell will be varied from the antibody produced from this cell, right? Now, what we do after this process, we need to check each of this cell for the antibody quality that are they producing, right? We harvest all these cells, we take each of the cells, we test those cells for binding of the specific antigen that we provided there so that the antigen is bound with that antibody produced by the cell or not. And suppose we are checking for only this yellow antibody that we had injected here. So, we add it for the assay to find out the uh, desired antibody producing cell of our nature. And let us say we found that cell, let us say this is found to be the cell which is producing our desired antibodies. Now, what we do here, we take this cell, we take this hybridoma and we culture this hybridoma in the hat medium. This is a specific type of selective media which only select for the positive cells that only produces this antibody that are the, that are the hybridomas. You know, hybridoma means hybrid type of cells because the cells are produced from fusion of spleen cell and myeloma cells, right? So, hat medium only. Uh, support the growth of these hybridomas in, in the culture and then from these hybridomas we can simply take out those antibodies they produce and we use that antibodies, we harvest those antibodies and they act as a monoclonal antibody in all this case because they are monoclonal because they only bind with this yellow colored antigen and we started our process with this antigen injection to this mouse and finally we end up with production of this antibody in high amounts and that is how we can produce more and more antibodies 
using this process and particular targeted on antibodies and these are very very important because we can use this uh, system nowadays to prevent cancer and is hugely implicated in the cancer treatment because in the cancerous cell we use this monoclonal antibody to mask the different uh, epitopes that are present in the surface of cancer for for blocking the cellular signaling that is present there in cancer you know there are many signaling in the cancerous cell that makes them cancerous that tell that cell to grow and divide continuously but if we can mask those receptors those growth hormone receptors that are present into the surface of cancerous cell with the monoclonal antibody we can actually prevent those cells for continue growing and dividing and that's what we can achieve with monoclonal antibodies so they are very good to understand and that's what it's all about and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.